Hey people, welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a quick little one. Sorry, I've been a little bit MIA. I've been doing spring cleaning and all kinds of projects around my house. Today we're just going to do a quick little video of some hamster, sort of hamster items that I ordered from Wish. I just got curious, wanted to see if it was a total mistake, and spoiler alert, it is. There's not a single thing in this haul that's usable. So, to start off, we'll jump right into it. This cute little wavy bridge. Looks like, you know, your typical Night Angel bridge, right? Yeah, appearances can be deceiving. This weighs maybe a quarter of what a Night Angel bridge weighs. I, I don't know what it's made of. Wish doesn't say what it's made of. Um... Every edge is incredibly rough. Not that that can't be sanded down, but the corners, like every bit of it, it just crumbles. It almost feels powdery. The, the spindles themselves seem okay, but the side supports, they're so weak, they're so flimsy, and they're so rough and crumbly. I would not put this in an enclosure. I just feel... Like, it is not safe at all. It's a mess. And that is actually probably the best of the products that I got from Wish. Second, we have this little log. And it's a very little log. Uh, you know, everything I got from Wish was, you know, like $2. So I thought it would be fun. It's not worth it, though, because the shipping is pretty pricey and it turned out it couldn't even ship to my house. I had to have it shipped to a nearby store, uh, which was a pain to pick up. But this log, you know, I thought it might be similar to the Night Angel one. No. These holes are an inch across. It's too small for even a robo. Same with the tunnel in the middle. It's really small, if you can see from my fingers. And in the middle, it's actually narrower. It's wider on the ends than it is in the middle. So not even a robo. Um, and I don't know what kind of wood it is. Uh, it looks, it either has glue or sap seeping on it. So, um, I suspect this is the kind of resin that's dangerous to hamsters. So that's another no. Um, I got this loofah carrot and honestly it seems okay. It's tied with twine and it's, I don't know if it's dangerous, but I was just so disheartened by the condition of everything else that I am kind of afraid to use this. Also, I don't know what these are, whoop, I don't know really what these are glued in with. So really just going off the quality or lack thereof of all the other products, I don't feel confident in using this carrot. Um, I know a lot of hamsters don't like loofah. Mine happen to love it, especially Chickpea, my Roborowski. She's nuts about loofah. So, there's that. This is one of those bendy tundle tunnels. I cannot speak today. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people use these. I've never used one. And I don't know if they're supposed to be like this. Um, I got it just to try it out. I thought I would use it in a playpen. But honestly, it feels so cheap. The edges are, if you can see, they're, they're really thin and almost sharp in a weird way. Um, and also, I just feel like it would be tremendously hard to clean, which, you know, I guess is something that you accept if you're going to use one of these bendy tunnels. I just, I don't feel like it's worth it. I thought I'd try it out. And maybe a better quality one would be less of a problem. I should probably not do that while I'm talking. It's a little loud. That's actually kind of fun. I might give this to the kids I nanny. And they can drive the parents nuts. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Um, so lastly, in my wish haul, get a couple of you know, grass veggies. Um, this one is intact, uh, but I'm not going to use it because I know what the inside looks like because this one 
arrived like that. It's fully fallen apart. This was supposed to be an eggplant. It, at one point, was probably pretty cute. Not anymore. Uh, and it just fell apart. And it is completely full of glue. You know, you have no idea what it is. The core of it is at least paper. Um, but, again, the thing just fell apart which makes the glue extremely accessible and not knowing if it's toxic glue or not, my guess is, you know, they didn't probably pay a lot of attention to what this is made with and I just don't feel comfortable using it. And even if I did know what it was made of, the fact that this arrived already like that and this is very flimsy as well. Like it feels like it's on the verge of falling apart, which, you know, for something that's designed to be chewed up, isn't the end of the world. I'm just, I'm not comfortable with the amount of glue that's on something that's designed to be chewed up. That's, that's a lot of glue. So anyway, that is my quick little review of this mini wish haul. Uh, I don't recommend it. I don't think it, it's worth it at all. I have gotten some hamster products from Timu which is kind of similar to Wish, but um, they have much more reasonable shipping. Uh, actually, I think shipping is free on all orders. Um, similar prices, and not everything I've gotten there has been a winner, but a lot of it has been good enough. Um, not all of it, not everything I've ordered there is for hamsters, though, either. Um, but they also have some totally bizarre things one of which I'm going to do a review on later because, wow, it's a whopper. Anyway, that is my wish haul review. And, uh, yeah, don't bother. That's my takeaway. It, uh, it's just not a good place for hamster supplies. The prices look tempting on the surface, but when you factor in the shipping and the wonky quality, just hit myself in the nose. <laughs> okay. I think that's a pretty good way to wrap this up. Don't buy hamster products from Wish. Anyway, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And if you didn't, I'd love it if you liked and subscribed just out of spite. Why not? And uh, we'll see what happens next time. Take care. Bye.